I can't be stopped. And boom, it's just like that together. Oh, wow. That's all you're looking at. Hope you enjoy. I'm Ben. I am a design engineer here at CNC Labs, in CNC Labs right now, working on things. I am designing a large CNC machine, four foot by eight foot cutting area uh, table. This episode is episode two, table frame. I'm putting the table together a couple times in this episode, trying to figure out the finer details of how it will be assembled by the customer, how the linear rail and the racks come together and align with one another at the joint where the two tables meet, doing all that thinking and then putting it together. Starting to put it together. Uh, the things, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is make another one of these plates, do some more machining on these Y rails to add holes for uh, A, the plates and B, legs to mount so that four legs on each half. It's going to be a heck of a lot easier to assemble this whole machine if both halves are standing up uh, with four legs. I'm wasting time talking about this but it's fun to talk to the camera. That's why I'm doing it and uh, instead of doing this fun I'm going to start machining. You ready? Nice, have a great weekend. Yeah, you too. I'll see you on Wednesday. Great. Such nice drill bits. Four millimeter cutting for M5. Oh, no. Oh, this is the drill bit I want to be using. 5.5 millimeters. Well, they wouldn't call it a mistake if it wasn't a mistake. Imagine that. This used to be that. It's coiled up and spun into this. Now we're left with a hole. Reference edge of Y rail, these two slots push it up, these two slots on an angle, pull it into the reference edge, bring in the other Y rail that's here, butt it up against the Y rail that's clamped on this side. <sighs> Oh, it's a huge center of moment of inertia. I can't be stopped. <laughs> that is a massive sit rotational moment of inertia. So funny. And boom, it's just like that together. 
so easy. So these countersink ones are the sort of the action screws that are creating some sort of movement. And then the socket head screws are, are like clamping screws. That's the purpose of them. So with this plate here, the rails can't move with respect to each other in this direction, this direction, that angled slot feature. Uh, they're pulled together so that this butt joint is... This was just like brute force, right off, start off, make it, uh, put it together. Um, no leveling feet on these at all. And uh, it goes together just fine. Jeez. Look at that. So it has aligned itself? Oh. You can tell it's straight because there's a mark here that's straight. Yeah. Okay, where do you want it? Here? Look at that. Wow, dead on. Can't wait anymore. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna take this table apart. I didn't take any care into thinking about this joint. And I sort of did that on purpose just to see how bad it would be without any effort involved of jigging it. Right now, when you throw a linear guide across this joint, it's gonna make a noise. I've gotta take it apart and now put a certain amount of effort into thinking about that and put it back together and see how well it works. So here's the seam. And what I'm trying to figure out right now is what order of operations it's best to attach all the pieces. So you've got the rail, the rack, the linear rail. I'm thinking about later on when we're jigging these, trying to assemble several, not just one. What order and how do we make sure that this rack and the rail are assembled in the correct position? Think, you know, left and right. When these two rails come together, this seam doesn't look like that, you know, to be overly obvious about it, but looks like that without the customer having to do this. How do we get it so that the rack is in the right spot? And on top of that, how do we make sure that this distance is, you know, there's no gap? I've got to take the this top flange. It's interfering with where the pinion's going to be currently. So instead of doing all this and taking it off, I'm just going to do the smart thing and cut the flange. So all the legs fell over. I had them leaning against the toolbox. I should have just dropped them on the ground from the get-go. I was just taking off the flange, the top of the flange, and all these. Reason being, the pinion will be able to move by, not hit that. What I figured out is it's gonna be best if we have a theoretical small gap here, such that this plate isn't pulling these two rails together. The you know true position is determined by something like this, but much shorter. That puts the position of where the two rails are with respect to each other. There would hopefully be little to just about zero gap in the linear rail, and that's gonna be determined through this true position of the rack teeth. The rack teeth is the datum in this sense.
two pieces, racks and rails should be aligned with respect to each other. We've got the table in a half state of assembled. What I'm doing is joining them now. So I've got this intermediate third rack that I'm clamping into the two racks, which has seemed to pretty well work with what I was expecting it to do. The angle of the teeth, when they're not aligned axially, when you push up, there'll be a force in this axial direction, which closes, where is it? Which closes this gap. Looks like the gap on the rail is pretty much not, yeah, it's a zero, which is great. Throw a bunch of these on. Throw a linear guide along it and see how it goes. Oh, wow. That is, there's nothing. Let me put the microphone near it. It's pretty exciting seeing it all come together from my point of view while I edit it. What's interesting is I'm editing episode two right now, but I'm filming currently stuff for episode five and I can tell you it's, it's only getting more and more interesting, the content that I'm filming. Putting the table together, that's cool. And at the time when I put it together, I thought it was pretty cool. And now it's just sort of minimum baseline value of excitement on this project. The next video will be showing me machining the Y gantry plate, the swing arm components, putting that all together and then putting that system onto the machine. Uh, oh, also machining the pinions. That video will be coming out in two weeks from now on Thursday. These videos will be coming out every two weeks. Hope you enjoy.